Hello everyone. In this video I'm going to show you how to perform operations with fractions using the TI-30X2S calculator. So here is the calculator that I recommended and the important key that we'll be using for fractions is right below this PRB key. It's labeled A with a B over C indicating a fraction uh, a mixed number that is the A being the whole number part B over C the fractional part so we'll just refer to that as the fraction key and it's pretty straightforward um, we'll look at these problems and here I'm going to write out the keystrokes um, for a couple of them but it'll be pretty obvious uh, for example what we're going to do is we're going to type in 11 um, and then hit the fraction key and so I'll put that in a little box here A with a B over C and then type in 42 and let's see what that looks like on the calculator so if I type in 11 hit the fraction key and then 42 you can see there's this little backwards upside down L that indicates the fraction bar so that was 11 over 42 and then we're just simply going to add so plus um, and let me finish up the keystrokes here so I'll put the plus in a box as well then I enter the second fraction 13 and then hit the fraction key again A with the B over C enter the denominator 24 and press enter or equals so and that should do it so finishing it up on the calculator so it's at plus there's 13 fraction key 24 hit enter and it does all the work for us so 45 over 56 so this is very convenient because um, Normally we would have to find the least common denominator and when you're dealing with large numbers such as this it can be tedious. So feel free to use the calculator at any point, especially for situations like this or maybe application problems where you just want to um, work through the fractions um, easily without having to do a bunch of side work. Um, also use it to check your answers. Obviously you should know how to do it the long way but uh, feel free to use the calculator at any point so we'll run through the rest of these questions um, I won't write down the keystrokes for this next one because it should be rather straightforward you just type in 53 hit the fraction key so that's my numerator fraction key denominator 55 we're subtracting so minus and we have 19 as the numerator fraction key 65 denominator press enter and we get 96 over 143 so it does all that work for us <clears throat> and it works for any operations um, or any types of fractions that is the next examples of mixed numbers um, involved and I'll write down the keystrokes for this one um, when we type this in you just um, realize there's a whole number part and then the fractional part so you type in 5 hit the fraction key type in the numerator of the fraction 1 hit the fraction key type in the denominator of the fraction 3 and then the operations addition so plus and then we're going to do the same. So let's actually see what that looks like so far. So if I type in um, 5, hit the fraction key, 1, hit the fraction key, 3. Okay, so you have to understand that this is the mixed number 5 and 1 third. And then we're going to do the same thing after plus. We'll do 8 and 2 ninths, so 8 fraction key, 2 numerator of the fraction, 
fraction T nine denominator of the fraction. And then we'll do equals or enter. And let's see that what that looks like now. So we've got the five and one third plus so eight fraction key two fraction key nine and hit enter. Okay, now what we see is something a little bit different. You've got this 13 out in front of this U symbol. And the U symbol separates the whole number part of 13 from the fractional part. And obviously you could read that as 5 ninths. So the answer is 13 and 5 ninths. So the U symbol separates the whole number from the fraction part again. Okay, so I think that's it for writing down the keystrokes. I'm um, just going to go through the rest of these. You can practice them. Just make sure you got it. Understand the concept and how to do it. If you have a different calculator um, other than the TI-30 without the A with the B over C key, then uh, feel free to email me and I'll Google your calculator and we can uh, certainly find you a video that works. Um, but hopefully... You spent the $10, $15 that it cost for this fairly inexpensive um, scientific calculator. So again, with the mixed numbers, just type them in. 5, fraction key 3, fraction key 8. And we're subtracting, so minus 2, fraction key 5, fraction key 9. Hit enter. And again does all the work for us. So 2 and 59 over 72. Okay, it does multiplications, divisions, any operations with fractions, um, it will be able to handle. So just to go through the rest of these questions on number 5, 12 fraction key 25 times 5 fraction key 6 hit enter 2 fifths number, problem number 6 mixed numbers with multiplication 1 fraction key 1 fraction key 5 multiplied by 11 fraction key 2 fraction key 3 hit enter this one came out pretty 14 and the last two are division problems and again the keystroke should be pretty straightforward here so just run through them practice these and make sure you know how to do it so 4 fraction key 25 now I'm dividing so divided by 12 fraction key 55 press enter and we get 11 fifteenths and then finally a division with mixed numbers <clears throat> so 1 fraction key 4 fraction key 9 divided by 2 fraction key 5 fraction key 6. Okay, I'm going to hit enter. Before I do, just a quick comment. Uh, notice that it doesn't put the U symbol in there. Um, you just have to know it's the first number is the whole number part, and then the next two digits are the fractional part. So hit enter, and we get 26 over 51 for this. Okay, so hopefully this was helpful. Again, if you have a different calculator, give me a call or email me and we'll get you straightened out.